In this video, I'm gonna show you how to select only the stroke or only the fill color with the eyedropper tool to select those colors or to change a different shape. So to start with, I have nothing selected right now. And if you look on the left-hand side of the bottom of the tool panel, which is a very important spot here, we have a fill and a stroke, and one is on top of the other. If I click the stroke, it'll move on top of the fill. If I click the fill, it'll move on top of the stroke. That signifies which of these you are selecting it to apply to, but to actually select the specific color. For instance, I have a circle out here that has a yellow fill and a pink stroke. What if I wanted to take the pink stroke color and apply it to my current fill color? I'm going to press the I key. That's the eyedropper tool. It looks like this in your toolbar. And then if I hover over the stroke and important part here, hold shift. That will take whatever color I'm hovering over and apply it to whatever is on top of, or whatever is kind of the primary over here. So whichever one's on top. So if I have the fill on top, come out here, hold shift and click. Then I will take the stroke color and apply it to the fill over there. Same thing with if I click on the stroke over here, come out here, I could hold shift, I could click on the stroke, apply a pink stroke, I could click on the yellow, apply a yellow, I could click on the white, click on the black, anything I click on color-wise will apply to that stroke, but I have to hold shift while I'm doing that. Now, you can also select individual parts here to apply to shapes. So this is applying it to these the fill and the stroke at, in my tool panel here. But if I click on this shape, you'll see the fill and the stroke are white and black. So if I wanted to change the stroke of this shape to one of the other colors, I would make sure the stroke is on top, kind of a similar process. Press I for the eyedropper tool, hold shift while you click, and click on that fill. So now the stroke of the other shape changed to the fill of this shape. And I could apply it to anything I want while I'm clicking out here, even this gray out here or white. Uh, but no matter what, as long as I'm holding shift with that eyedropper tool, it'll apply that color to whatever swatch here is on top, the fill or the stroke. So if I go to the fill, I can do the same thing, hold shift, click on any of these other colors to select the fill or stroke individually. I can also click this slash icon here to apply none to one or the other of these. And that's how you can select just the fill or the stroke color here in Adobe Illustrator. 